It's day two of a six-day visit by Czech Senate President Miloš Vystrčil and his delegation. On Monday, Vystrčil witnessed the signing of three agreements between Taiwan and the Czech Republic at a trade and investment forum. The memorandums of understanding will focus on boosting exchanges in smart cities, smart machinery and other tech sectors. On stage, the Czech Senate president delivers a greeting in Mandarin Chinese. Monday was the second day of his Taiwan visit. He headed a delegation with more than 40 Czech industry leaders to a forum on the economy, trade and investment in Taiwan and the Czech Republic. There is a saying in Czech, if you want warmth, simply saying it won't bring you warmth. You'll only get warmth after you light a fire. The Senate president stressed that the Czech value deeds over words. The Czech Republic is Taiwan's fourth biggest investment destination in the EU. In 2019, trade between the two countries reached 820 million U.S. dollars, or over 24.1 billion NT. Companies such as Honghai, Asus, Acer, and AU Optronics have all invested in the European country. Please sign the MOU. In addition to touting strong commercial exchanges, Taiwan and the Czech Republic signed three memorandums of understanding at the event. They centered on smart cities, the so-called artificial intelligence of things, entrepreneurship and smart machinery. The Czech speaker also took the opportunity to respond to China's condemnation over his visit. The main task for a politician is to not hinder economic operations and ensure a good environment for businesses. We must do our utmost to succeed. It's not just for the people of the Czech Republic or for the people of Taiwan. People from all over the world are watching us. Whether this visit is a success will have an impact on any future developments. The Czech Republic and Taiwan are both democratic countries that value human rights. We have similar values to the Czech Republic, so from the beginning we have had a deep relationship with them. As for China, I will not comment on that. The delegation members are touring Taiwan in a diplomatic bubble. This involves every person at every event wearing a mask at all times. Czech and Taiwanese participants must use different entrances, and they must all disinfect their hands and pass temperature checks. Event staff must wear face masks as well as transparent face shields. The Taiwan Centers for Disease Control has sent personnel to join events to ensure that there are no public health oversights.